Hello guys, I'm Rebel and welcome back to Anybody Can Code Python series. Today we learn about operators in Python. So starting from scratch, what do you think operators are? So operators act as connectors between two operands. So in simple terms, if I write a plus b here, plus is the operator that connects the operands a and b. So there are various types of operators in Python such as arithmetic, assignment, comparison, logical, membership, identity and bitwise. First, let's begin with arithmetic operators. So these operators are used to perform basic arithmetic calculations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus and exponent. Let's say x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, x plus y, 5, x minus y, we got minus 1, x multiply y, 6, x divided by y, 0.666. So this is the flow division operator which returns integer value. So here we will probably get 0 as the result. Let's see. So yeah, we got 0. x modulus y. We got 2. So basically this modulus operator returns reminder after division. So this is the exponent operator. This is nothing but power of operator. 2 to the power of 3 it will give 8. So yeah, that's all about arithmetic operators. Next set of operators are assignment operators. So the name itself makes it clear that it helps in assigning values. Like a is equal to 22. So here this equal to operator is the assignment operator which helps in assigning the value 22 to the variable a. Interestingly, we can also perform other operations through compound assignment operators. a plus equal to 2. So this is nothing but a is equal to a plus 2. So this operator adds 2 to the value that is already present in a. Let's print a and c. So yeah, similarly we also have a minus equal to 2. So this is nothing but a is equal to a minus 2. And we also have a exponent equal to or a, a modulus equal to and a lot more. Basically, we can combine all other operators with assignment operators. Moving on to the next, we have comparison operator. So by the name itself, it is understood that this operator helps in comparing two or more values. So on comparison, the resultant is either true or false. So let's work with some examples to understand better. x is equal to 5, y is equal to 10, x double equal to y. So this is the equal operator that checks whether the value of x and y are same. It has written false since they are not same. x not equal y. It has written true because they are not same x less than y it is true because x is less than y similarly we also have x greater than y x lesser than or equal to y true x greater than or equal to y false so that's all about comparison operators. Now coming to the next set of operators which are logical operators. These operators are used to take a decision based on multiple conditions. The operators such as AND, OR and NOT come under this category of operators. Let's say you are writing a program and you want the user to enter an input that is an even number less than 20. In that case the best way to use is an AND operator. Let's consider 7 as the user's input. Let's 
so this is the condition to check whether a number is an even number or not so on dividing a number by 2 if the remainder is 0 then the number is definitely an even number so this is the condition to check whether a number is less than 20 or not on performing and on these two conditions it will return true only if both the conditions are satisfied So here it has written false since 7 does not satisfy both of these conditions it has written false. When it returns true you can proceed with the program otherwise you can ask the user to enter an input again. Similarly if you want the user to enter an input which is either an even number or a number that is less than 20 then that can be performed by OR operator. OR Since 7 satisfies one of the conditions, it has written true. Next are membership operators. There are two membership operators in and not in. These are used to check whether a value is present in a sequence or not. Now let's create a sequence and try this out. Since we have already discussed about sequence types, I'd be using a list here. 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 Now let me check whether the value 1 is present in the sequence or not, print 1 in sequence it has evaluated to true because 1 is present in the sequence. Now let us try not in print 1 not in sequence. Since 1 is present, it has evaluated to false. Similar to membership operators, there are two more operators, is and is not. These are called as identity operators and these are used to compare the identities of the variables, meaning the memory locations. Let us say x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3, x is y. Since it gave us true, it is evident that the memory locations of x and y are same. Now let us change the value of y to 4 y is equal to 4 and now x is not y. It has written true because x and y are not in the same locations. So that's how it works. The last set of operators are bitwise operators. So there are basically six bitwise operators, bitwise and, or, not, xor, right shift and left shift which are represented using these symbols. So these operators perform bitwise calculations on integer. So what they exactly do is, first they convert the integer into binary format and then perform the respective operation using truth values. Since they convert the number into binary format, these are also called as binary operators. Now let's try out the bitwise XOR operator. So this is the truth table for bitwise XOR. 5 XOR 10 It gave us 15. Why? Because so these are nothing but binary representation of 5 and 10. 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 so on performing XOR using truth values we will get 1 1 1 1 so this is the binary representation of 15 so that is how XOR performs now let us try out another operator maybe the right shift one so this right shift operator shifts bits to its right let us say 12, this is the right shift operator 1. So here 12 is a number that is to be shifted and 1 represents the number of places for which 12 must be shifted. It gave us 6 because 
1100 is the binary representation of 12. So on shifting one bit to its right, we will probably get 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is nothing but the binary representation of 6. In the same way, the left shift operator is used to shift bits towards its left. And that's all for this tutorial guys. You can try out different expressions using all these operators. Post your doubts in the comment section below. Stay tuned and see you all in the next. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.